Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and while I'm not a huge fan of verses and battle videos, this week I got to play with two really terrific solar battery chargers, which both land at around $150 and take very different approaches to power management out in the field. How about a quick showdown between the Sunjack 14 watt charger and the Solar Juice Orange? Now we have individual reviews on both of these products, but as a brief recap, the Solar Juice is a rugged and water resistant single panel charger in a steel and plastic frame with a built in 5400 milliamp hour battery and adjustable kickstands, while the Sunjack is a four panel solar charger in a durable ballistic nylon enclosure, which includes an external 8,000 milliamp hour battery. In terms of power generation, Sunjack walks away with a handy victory. With four panels each larger than the single orange panel, it's no surprise that individual gadgets and batteries charge more than four times faster. Also with a pair of full-sized USB ports built in, cable management is more convenient than the single micro USB port found on the orange, which requires the use of an adapter to plug in your devices. However, those exposed ports on the Sunjack also mean that waterproofing is more difficult. By design, the orange is water submergible with the bottom port covered, and while Sunjack sells a waterproof sleeve, it does make using the Sunjack a little bit more difficult in really wet conditions. The legs on the orange make it a little easier to set up and adjust it to catch the sun just right, but the surface area advantage of the Sunjack makes it a little less necessary to be making small adjustments throughout the day. When folded up, the Sunjack is about the size of an iPad in an OtterBox shell, but the Solar Juice is smaller and lighter by about a half a pound if pack space is limited, and I think either charger would probably be handy in an emergency prep kit. So where does that leave us? Like I said at the beginning of this video, these two companies have taken very different approaches to portable solar power. Whichever one you pick will be highly influenced by what kind of adventuring you're looking to do and how many people and gadgets you might need to support. While I really like the rugged build quality of the orange, as I'm not really into boating or water sports, I have to give the nod to Sunjack's charge speeds and cabling flexibility, though I would maybe flip that pick if I were really into river rafting. Having been a fan of hiking and camping my entire life, it really is incredible what kind of tech gear we have available now. The fact that a very modest investment in either of these chargers means we can power that gear for short and medium term off the grid excursions kind of blows my mind. I want to thank Solar Jews and Sunjack for supplying the gear for this showdown, and I'll of course leave links down below this video for more info on both of these companies and their products. As always, thanks so much for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this, and I would not be able to continue producing these reviews if you all weren't out there sharing them with your family, friends, and on social media. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.